Give me Kevin. Why? I'm going to see a lawyer. Uh, Professor Casuda from uptown. I think you'd be interested in hearing what he's got to say. It's a ballistics report. Why? What? I think I can prove to a judge that both of these men had the men's rear. <gasps> What the hell is that? Men's Rhea! Men's Rhea! Not all, Mr. Carew. We both use condoms. Don't worry, Bob. Can I have an independent broadcast? What? I want to see a doctor. I want to see Men's Rhea! What the hell is a men's Rhea? He is not my boyfriend. Men's Rhea! Oh! Oh! Shut up! No! 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 Men's Rhea! Bing, 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 bing. That's not a good opening. Welcome again to Rudy Land, the land of failed hopes and dying dreams. A wasteland of sorts of decaying and decrepit carcasses strewn about a sandy dune. We got tons of peaches, though. Again, we saw a movie that, um, reminded me of a little bit of another movie, but the name of that film is Book Club, starring Diane Lane. I mean, Action Johnny, starring Johnny Action. <laughs> action Point, starring Johnny Knoxville. <laughs> yes, that was pretty close, though. You gotta admit that. Uh, you know, surprisingly nice little movie. There's a lot of yeah. It's a lot of funny stuff. A lot. Of, it's definitely gonna keep your attention. It's not a bad um, hour and a half, two hours, whatever it was. Yeah, it's. Uh, I was really shocked by this i had pretty low expectations from the trailer which i watched mike judge was one of the writers he was he came in later yeah he's he's probably friends with them and uh i uh i really really liked this movie i really enjoyed it i had a lot of fun with it and um the one thing that i will say right off the bat is i think this movie is going to become a cult classic yeah, I really one hundred percent think it will it's, be. I was getting, uh, I was getting feels of uh, what's that movie, Days The Princess Bride. Oh. Grandfather telling a story to his right. grandchild. Okay. Yeah, I was getting some dazed and confused vibes. Yeah, that for too. Sure. Yeah, uh, it was a lot. I liked it better than Dazed and Confused. I've seen. I, <laughs> I haven't watched in a while, but there was a period where I saw it many, many times, and I grown to resent all it. Meeting. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, this is, um, it's, uh... It's, it's like a family, it's like an R-rated family, nice little family movie. Well, that's the thing, is that I thought this was PG-13. <laughs> and when I came, and when I got to it, and someone said fuck early on, I was like, oh, well, I guess they used their one fuck up. Yeah. And, uh, the next thing you know, you're Chaos seeing dicks. And yeah. <laughs> Shit. And I'm like, oh, wait, this is R-rated. <laughs> seeing dog penetration, let's say. <laughs> I'm yeah. surprised I didn't get NC-17 for that. <laughs> uh, frankly. I'm appalled. I'm surprised I didn't get uh, NC-17 for a few things in this movie. <laughs> it's, um... It's... I, as, from the moment it started, I was saying it's just a perfect movie to throw on when you're with kids and you have nothing to watch. But there's so much... <laughs> no! <laughs> well, yeah, I have a different view of, you know, film and yeah. stuff. There, there were a few kids in here, though, in the there theater. Was. Yeah. Some dad who was probably a fan of Jackass brought his kid. Yeah. There, there was a lot of humor that relied um, on the Jackass style. Just sort yes. of a character's just hanging out and then all of a sudden somebody plows if, them over in a go-kart or exactly. something. Exactly. If, if you love Jackass and grew up on that and on the movies... This is going to hit you right in the feels, you know. It's going to hit you in that sweet spot. But let us not brush over yeah. the film's greatest strength and weakness. A certain man who, if he didn't say his name in the post-credits, I would have not been able to recite it. Chris Pontius. Yes, Chris Pontius. Oh, my God. I lit up every time he was on screen. It, just... it was confounding, oh. though, because there was moments where he was... His weirdness was perfect. The way he would deliver a line was like super <laughs> awkward and goofy. Like, it's, it's the funnest place ever. Yeah, and uh, it just it totally brought me back to Wild Boys and fucking Jackass. But then there's a lot of moments where it's like, are you trying to be funny or are you just saying doing it badly? A, doing a creepy thing. Well, I mean, he's, yeah. none of these guys are trained really actors. You know, yeah. They're just. They just made it in the I'm just saying, I feel like he made a conscious effort to play it like like he did. Super, uh, oh, yeah. anti. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, he, um... And it worked, it worked a lot, 
and there's a lot of moments where I'm like, eh, that didn't really hit for me. Yeah, that didn't really bother me because I was like, you know no, what? No, it didn't bother me. I'm just pointing it out. That's yeah. like the biggest, that was, that's probably the only real, uh, maybe could have used sharper writing, but that's only the real negative that's going to affect the film for me at any future point. Yeah, I mean. But it's not big, it's not. It's not going to really bother me, but it's, you know, it's there. Right, yeah. Uh, a lot of Chris Pontius is, you know, in this movie. He just really worked for me. You know, he's got the short shorts on. You know, he's wearing thongs. It's all it's all that same humor from Jackass. And he's got this fucking hat. Do I look fat? Do I look fat in this shirt? I don't <laughs> yeah. care. It looks dope anyway. I'm going to wear it anyway. I, I just love all the scenes with him with a hatchet. <laughs> it was very... <laughs> I like the dude with the sledgehammer, but I wish at the end he, he was had, good like, too. I wish I he had him. like a, I was sitting there wishing he had like a, a giant torch <laughs> or something that he's fl flailing around like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's me. That's, yeah. you know, not every so film we is should, for me. We should tell people what the basic plot of this is. Um, it's Princess Bride. It's, and dazed, meets dazed and confused. It's, meets Adventureland. Well, it's basically kind of an unofficial kind of based on a true story about a real theme park that was kind of like this, that was very dangerous. Yeah. I don't know the name of it. I think there's a documentary on it. But, um... It's, it's their, Action Point. Why would they change the name? Maybe it was called Action Point. I don't know, but, uh... It's, it didn't say based on a true story, but I know that they kept in mind this, like, n like notorious... I'm sure a kid or something died. Yeah, yeah, it was a like notorious amusement park where kids were just getting their legs broken and all this shit. Any, what serious injuries occurred here? See, um, another problem with this guy comedy getting his is... getting leg-ripped, gashed oh, right yeah. open. And then getting duct-taped. <laughs> duct-taped. Well, yeah, they invented this in the war. <laughs> They may have ripped off one of my one of my go-to moves, though. Do you remember during the commercial, the arrow pointing to a young Asian or Hispanic girl's tits? No, I don't. I don't remember yeah. that. When uh, they're they're filming a commercial, there's a girl in the bottom left. Only like the top third of her shirt is there, oh, and, and she, she raises her, her hands, hands up. up. Oh yeah, yeah, I remember that. And then the commercial, the point. Oh, someone was Arrow. pointing at it? No, the, the, where it says the le the uh, action point. Oh, okay. The, it's uh, pointing right up at, yeah, okay. That's my go-to move, guys. Yeah, see, that's the thing is that there is stuff that happens in the background in this movie you're that gonna you're, you're going to miss yeah. it. You know, it's it's a movie that it's. I definitely am going to rewatch this movie. Yeah. You know, it's um, it's just a lot of fun. It's very stupid. It's it's the lowest fucking brow humor as we've talked about with Super Troopers. It's, it's sort of like shit. it's the sort of humor where it's just like it's so weird it kind of works. Yeah, sometimes it's, it's bottom of the barrel. Yeah. It's it's low hanging fruit, you know, comedy. And if you like that they stuff, they build a trebuchet. <laughs> FYI, mayhem ensues. Yeah, it's um, I it was just it was just a joy for me. It was great to see Johnny Knoxville. Although I will say the the old man makeup, I, didn't I don't look I, great. No, no it, it somehow looked worse than the the makeup for Bad Grandpa, which I thought was pretty good. Yeah. But yeah, that um, it did was not yeah. top shelf. Let's. How say. did you um? How did you feel about the uh, when it's in the present and he's telling the story of the theme park? How did they you relied? Feel about that? They had to rely way too much on him uh, injuring himself. Like the one at the yeah. monkey bars. I'm like. You could see it coming my way. It's like, well, all right. it was shown in the trailer, so it was like, oh, I man. didn't remember that. Yeah. But I, you know, a lot of, there was a lot of jokes I could see coming and I still laughed. Because yeah. Because it's still absolutely. goofy. And there was a lot of moments where jokes were, it was sort of a subversion of what I was expecting at the yeah. same time, too. Yeah, a sometimes good, uh, you think it's going one way yeah, and then. A good the mixed next. bag here. I did love, there's, <laughs> there's one scene where uh, they're, uh, they're trying to do more extreme rides because, you know, they the, need to. The theme park's not doing well. They need money. Back to the uh, <laughs> back to the plot. The theme park is. He owes the bank a hundred grand on this loan, yeah. and attendance is way down because they just built like you know a real legit theme park. You right know, next a half to hour him. away. Half an hour away. Yeah. So, he uh, he's got to get to Thunkin', and Thunkin' he does. Yeah, and and they build this. Um, <laughs> they build like this. Uh, um, like what do you call those? Those clothesline things that people zip go down line. zip line, yeah. And one of these guys oh, goes yeah. down. And Chris Bonnie. That was one of his shining <laughs> moments for just, sure. 
<laughs> he trips over one of the wires. Well, it, it was the setup of it too. Here's what happens. All right, they're doing. We're doing a sort of montage of them trying out all the kooky new ride ideas. One of the kids, what do you call them? Shit birds. Yeah. He goes down it. We don't see where it ends. It's just a zip line. Goes down it. Yeah. Cut to the woods. There's something poking out of the ground. Chris Pontius trips on it, <laughs> turns for a second, grabs his hatchet, cuts it, and then the kid falls. As soon as he comes on screen and then he hits it, and he, the hatchet's on his front, so it's like, oh, okay, yeah. yeah and it, was, it still was great. It was a great ah, time. What the fuck just happened? <laughs> There's a lot of, this is, um, it's very... It just flows, like yeah. the, the, when they're in the park. It just they it had just flows, um, yeah. They had a couple. A lot of the sort of story is uh, really cheap, cheap, really uh, not very in depthful. There's not a lot to it. It's very no. surface level, and that's fine. It doesn't need to delve yeah. into anything really. We're just yeah. It doesn't really even need a story. It's just like, hey, there's this park. They're in the park. A lot of crazy shits happening, you know. So man. Yeah. Um, but, Did you uh, recognize um, that people who are rude will play their music super loud so it <laughs> might ruin my recording possibly? Who Shitty knows? music nonetheless. Yeah, you know, that top 40 billboard. <laughs> we just scalped and decapitated that motherfucker <laughs> for, you know, making me look like a fool on my own internet show. <laughs> Bitch. But we were talking about Action Point, um, and it was good. Your window's already down. I'm yeah. sorry. Back onto it. Uh, kind of forget where we were, but we're going to plow ahead anyways. Any negatives for you at all? Uh, there's one real negative that I had in the movie. Really just one. And it's the movie decides to get sentimental, you yeah. know, and mm -hmm. that is the real thing that just didn't work for me. It wasn't awful, um, but it um, it, it didn't really, work really it, well. It like, brought it, it down great. for me, because it's yeah. just like, we're just flowing through the park, we're having fun. Um, he has a daughter, Johnny Knoxville, who's come to visit him for like the summer, I the guess. The whole concert thing, it was really, his whole excuse is, I, I really gotta work on this. And yeah. then she drops it. Like, yeah. you're. Somebody promised yeah. to take you to the show you're super excited for, and you he just says, I'm not going to go, and you're just going to drop it and yeah, walk you, away? You would, you would bring it up. You'd be like, yo, what the fuck, Dad? Um, that's the only thing for me that really just um, did not work. The villain? He didn't really... I, he I wasn't was fine. great. He worked. He did He did a good, adequate job, but he didn't blow me away, you know? No, it's it's just total generic asshole corporate It reminded me a lot of uh, sort of that the 80s tropes. This preppy kid whose his son is the total dick through and through, Which you know is what I mean? what they're exactly going for, because it's yeah. in the 80s, yeah. It was in the 80s? Yeah, Clash. Clash, yeah. For some reason, I was thinking maybe earlier. I don't know why. Maybe it could have been late 70s. I mean, I no, 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 no. I mean even earlier 70s. than that. I mean yeah. earlier than that. But anyways, um... Yeah. It, uh... Nothing wrong, I'd say see it. See it in a theater. Recommendation, yeah. Yeah, I uh, I would definitely say if you like the Jackass movies, if you liked Bad Grandpa, um, you're, you like you're, you're going to enjoy this. If you if you were worried about the trailers or anything, this is, you're going to like this. It's, <laughs> it's, it, it's, it shocked me. I, I didn't, I thought this was going to be terrible. I really did. And I had, I just had other a lot of fun. Johnny Knoxville movies been bad, or other Jackass uh, alumni movies been bad. Um, I mean, I've I've enjoyed what everything done. I've seen Johnny Knoxville, and he's he's good. Yeah, he does a good job for the most part. Yeah. Um. Other than that, none of them have other really blossom. Blossom. Steve O's no. a comedian now, I guess. Yeah, and I, I actually was kind of hoping there'd be a few more people from the Jackass crew in Who there. Who do you think but, was uh, in the bear? The bear suit? The Why bear didn't they suit? ever unmask him? I don't know, but that, I'm pretty sure yeah, there's a guy in, in Jackass who was always in a bear suit or something like that. Yeah. But, um... The, uh, the dwarf and the big fat guy. Yeah, yeah. I can't remember what their names are, but yeah. never mind. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> uh... See, was there I'm, any, uh, negatives for you? 
Um, I mean, you know, the sentimental stuff, the yeah. stuff when he's a grandpa, old guy. Yeah. It, it didn't. It didn't quite land. Yeah. It, I don't think they really needed that. Yeah, but, you know, maybe why? Yeah, why didn't they just? Well, the movie's not that long. I think it's only eighty-five minutes long. Eighty-five minutes. Yeah. The app said two hours. Really? Yeah, it's about eighty-five. It's yeah. got to be about. I think it's probably 90 eighty-five, minutes. ninety minutes. It's it's pretty short. Yeah. Like all the jackass stuff and, and bad grandpa. But it, um, uh, it's. It's was really nice. I wasn't expecting anything. I didn't yeah. really remember any of the trailers. So um, I wasn't expecting much. It was a nice little ride, nice little movie. Yeah, and um, I, I really enjoyed a lot of the actors, all the little you know people in the park. You know, all the kids and stuff. Yeah, the kids were good. I liked the black kid who is kind of in charge of the finances. Who has the For classes. some reason, when he was when he's like, <laughs> get out of here, Robbie, whatever his name was. Right. Sorry, little black guy in glasses. Yeah. He um. He starts running away for some reason. I thought it was his <laughs> pants and his shirt were so tight, and he's just like holding himself. He's running away. I don't know. It was really funny to me. Yeah, he was he was good. I actually really liked the daughter of Johnny Knoxville. I yeah, thought she, she did was fine. good. She did all nobody right. nobody really annoyed me or stuck out because um, nobody got none of them got too much screen time. If or it was too much. to show them that to like show you they're bad or they're annoying. Some you know people, I mean? like you said, maybe would mention that Chris Pontius is maybe in it a little too much. But I, I but then wanted again, for him. me, he's I the wanted, highlight. I he's also him. the highlight. It's like just, uh, drama and comedy, man. Yeah. So Tragedy. Is there anything you want to say before spoilers? or We go pitch a wang-wang doodle. <laughs> you go pitch a wang-wang doodle. Um, I can't really remember much specifics about this movie, oh, so the, the, the spoiler the, section might be a little um, this, might be a little sparse, let's this, say. <laughs> when... When they go to get the commercial for the the park on the TV, and Chris oh, yeah. Goes oh, yeah. in there, and the just the, before he even goes in there, before he even they're going to break into a a news a, you know a news broadcasting yeah. company. Are they gonna? Did they give them a tape like a clean one, and they're gonna yeah. replace it with the they're dirty one? They're gonna replace one? it with the okay. Seven Days Park, which is like <laughs> you know, Six Flags or whatever. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. He gets out of the... Johnny Knoxville is going to do it. He gets out of the car, and Chris Pontius, his girlfriend, who happens to work at the station who gave them the key, is like, you know, she's super hot into him being cool and stuff, Chris Pontius. So he's like, I'm going to do it. Grabs the keys. His first step, he starts waddling away. <laughs> drops the keys immediately. He dropped the keys. Keeps <laughs> waddling for a few seconds. He's got to go back. Pick, stops, picks up the key, waddles up the fucking stairs, drops the tape, <laughs> stops, got to pick that up. <laughs> and then after that is uh, and you forgot, electric. You forgot. He uh, he packs a nice dip right in his mouth. He did? <laughs> yeah, and then he spit on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> what the heck? That's right. I'm surprised he didn't pick that one up. No, I saw him spit. I didn't realize he put in, <laughs> yeah, he in he a packed in a dipper. We don't condone chewing tobacco <laughs> at Rudy Land. FYI. And, uh, man, when he goes up there to try to put the tape in, and he's on the floor laying down looking at the map plans. And then uh, he's, like, laying there, and he's got his legs up. Like, imagine how a g little girl would be lying on a grass. Sunday afternoon just reading a book or something. Right, That's what it looks like, front reading a magazine. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, some anchor man and his... And the weather girl. <laughs> and the drunk weather girl show up. And you know what they do late night at a uh, news station? They get down. They sort videos and make editing corrections. <laughs> With their it's genitals. a time-consuming process. <laughs> These mosquitoes. You ever see the movie Mosquito? No. I saw it a long, long time ago. Not bad. But uh, that, that is, to me, the best gag. As he's crawling under the table as these people are fucking. He tries to escape one way. <laughs> they they keep changing positions of fucking. <laughs> then... That had a lot of uh, <laughs> jokes that came off it because yeah. do the he tries to go this way, they move, try to go this way, they move, try to go this way, they move, try to go this way, they move. They finish. He gets jizz on his hand. They're back at the car. The dog starts licking it. No, Susie. Well, you forgot that that he, as soon as the jizz happens and it lands on him, he, he screams, screams and he runs. Scurlish scream. And they see him. Yes. <laughs> and then they're running out, and that 
That was easily the best gag in the movie. Everybody was fucking dying. It was in the good. I, I wanna. I don't wanna give judgment on that quite yet because yeah, I can't that, remember many specifics. That was um, that. That was the one where everybody laughed the most. That one really got me good. I was definitely crying with laughter though. That was um, that was really enjoyable. It was good. Yeah. I liked it. Very funny. This um, so it was very sneaky for you. Yeah, yeah, this totally shocked me. It blindsided me. I, I was like, I thought this was going to be complete shit. I, um, we're going to go right to the ending scene because I brought it up earlier. He, um, yeah, get that as he's walking away as an old, old man, man yeah. and he reconciles, we realize that he reconciled with his daughter and granddaughter, right, yeah. blah, blah, blah. He's walking away, silence, falls, grabs his chest, falls on the ground, lies there a few seconds, and he's dead. I really thought that was a brave choice. Yeah, I... Except his daughter comes out, and he's just playing a joke. Yeah, I was... When that happened, I was like, oh, God, no. We're not gonna kill we the just, old guy. Well, the thing <laughs> is, why do we have to do another daughter in-joke? We already found out that they're tight, they're cool. They, they have we a good relationship. Yeah. I good. mean, it, it, like I say, it's sentimental, and, and you know, it, it worked for me. I, I was fine. Obviously, they could have went the really dark route. That's what I wanted. Dying. That's why. That's my conclusion here, my friend. But, I wanted him to die. It'd be <laughs> the perfect ending to a comedy. I would never have expected to it. a dark comedy. Yeah, you you got the bloodlust. <laughs> I love seeing old men die. <laughs> yeah, um, but yeah, I, I was fine with it. It would have been a very brave choice yeah. to have die at the end. It but, would that yeah. it would have been, and I would have accepted it. There's a lot of subversion, yeah. as they say, of expectations. But again, I can't. This is going to be the worst episode because we fucking <laughs> we had to drive away for a couple minutes. Yeah, there was there was there was another really good gag. Um, oh yeah, you you had mentioned the dog fucking when they uh, when they yeah. need lumber and they got to go to the. That was a nice little nice little uh, set. It's like, piece, uh, yo, uh, it. let me get the key. I know a place where they give it on credit. I know, you know what that means as soon as he says it. Oh, absolutely. I know a place where you can get it on credit tonight. That's the thing is that even though when you knew where it was going to go, it's it still, was enjoyable. Yeah, it was they really still, enjoyable. Uh, executed it real well. Yeah. So they go to the Seven, what is the name? Seven Days, it's called. Seven Days Park, starts yeah. stealing lumber, and he figures out that the guy <clears throat> who's trying to buy his park is working with the evil seven days park and the bank and the mayor right to try to muscle them out they want their land god damn once again merit <laughs> white men stealing from others <laughs> there's a real deep message here <laughs> love your daughter and always have a hatchet but yeah. i digress because as we know in Rudy Land, hatchets are illegal. Yeah. We only carry around flamethrowers. But yeah, I was wondering what did <laughs> what did they, what did they put on the dog? Because the dogs get stuck, and he's like, "Why is the why is the ass of your dog wet?" And like both the dogs are stuck on each other. Obviously, they fucked to some extent. But did he put something on the back of the dog it's to get the, the other, other dog dogs stuck? Jizz. Oh yeah, I the dog other dog's dick is is. Is too big but they were like to back really... to back. It was weird. I was like, "How is this working right now?" I guess I don't know. I guess that's how dogs demount. Yeah. What do they call that? <laughs> demount. De yeah, I guess uh, de that sounds dirty. Decouple. Yeah. But um, <laughs> one of the things that really shocked me was this movie completely upstages the Revenant could be <laughs> because. The bear. The oh, fucking yeah, bear is CGI bear. in The Revenant. All the fucking animals in this movie are all real. Except he did not drink real beer or liquor. Oh, of course not. But it is awesome when you see all these fucking animals and the gags with the animals. The animal trainers kicked ass. Yeah. Like, just when they're fucking grabbing porcupines. I love the scene with the squirrel and Chris Pontius. Is the fucking... squirrel just poking his little head out, <laughs> grabbing a nut. Of his fucking pants. And Chris Pontius' expressions of, like, sheer horror and then, like, oh, ah. pleasure. <laughs> like I said, the highlight and the biggest attraction at the same time. It was, uh, well, no, nah, now I changed my mind. The sentimental parts are the biggest attraction, but... Yeah, for me, Nothing though. that's going to... It, the thing is, there's a good pace. It keeps moving. It does. It does keep moving. It's not boring at all. And, uh, you know, there's definitely going to be a lot of people who look down on this movie. 
Much like, you know, like Super Troopers, you know, where we loved it. There's a lot of people who are just going to snub their nose at this. And yet it's, we love Death of Stalin and no one right. else in our theater did. Right, you know, it's... We're the best audience, Hollywood. <laughs> you need to pay us to watch movies. Yeah, this this to me is a, it's a total crowd pleaser. It's totally for people who, you know, just... You need an hour and a half killed? You want yeah, something good you to watch? Yeah, you want to have fun. I hate, you know, always saying fun, but this Exciting. movie... Exciting, it's a fun ride. It's just fun. Yeah, and it, it reminds me of like you know being younger and going to you know the theme parks and stuff like that. Obviously, much safer, but just um, summer, man. You yeah, don't have exactly. to work. It's just exactly. you could do. You're free for you're free. fucking three months. Yeah, exactly. Although you don't have any money in yeah. most cases, and you got to make that work. <laughs> when you do, I myself you. used to um hold a high stakes mahjong game in my parents' backyard under the seams. Lightning strikes twice. We have um, some intermittent weather occurring, and I, um, I believe it could be. What do they say to kids? God's crying when it's God does play is bowling. The angels are bowling when there's thunder. That was God cries every time you masturbate and it kills a thousand kittens. <laughs> he cries when it's when it's raining. God is crying. They say. Yeah. But anyways, <laughs> we um we're not here to talk yeah, religion. Yeah, get spoilers. We're here to talk about book club, old women. And sex. <laughs> That's a reminder for me to later edit in some sort of weird old lady sex scene. Oh God! What uh, is there? Anything else? What else? Let me give me something else about this movie you're into. Something else you want to talk about? Cialis. Um, yeah, I was gonna mention the Cialis bit. That was probably the funniest scene. It's side effect of Daddy's heart. Me Daddy's medicine. <laughs> Cialis. His heart medicine. <laughs> yeah, that was. That was the best um, scene uh, of the present day. The present day, the biggest issue was, I don't remember if I mentioned this or not, but it was sort of like a Bugs Bunny cartoon. They would yeah. dispense with the emotional uh, exposition, and then he would light his face on fire. He would fall yeah. and get hit in the Which face with work. something. Yeah. It didn't work. It that that bad, stuff but... really worked in Bad Grandpa. It doesn't. Mm -hmm. It doesn't work here. It was short enough, though. It didn't. It's not really. Yeah. It's not really. And good actually, I thought his little granddaughter. She wasn't annoying. She was nice. She, you know, she had natural. She didn't have a lot of quality. She wasn't in it a lot, really. No, but I'm saying like, when yeah, she, she was good. used. You know, she's she's got a broken leg. She's obviously hurt herself somehow. They don't yeah. talk about how it she hurt herself. It doesn't really matter. It's unimportant. Yeah, and he's you know she's stuck in the house on a weekend and. She's with Grandpa, and he's, you know, talking about the glory days. <laughs> How awesome would it have been to own, like, a rebel, a rebel theme park? Theme park, park yeah. be pretty cool. Anyone wishing to invest in Rudy Land's Rudy Land theme park, contact Rudy Land via space machines and laser boobs. Laser beams. Yeah. A lot of jokes that... I'm not going to remember specifically. Definitely, you're definitely going to want to see this more than once. Yeah, and, and if you don't like it, obviously don't see right. it more than yeah. once. But there's a lot of stuff going. Like the thing with the tits hanging out. I bet you a bunch <laughs> of people didn't even notice that. Like, oh, yeah. sitting right next to us. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, and that, that was that was funny when they were making the commercial. How would you gauge your audience? Were they, um, uh, I think it was mostly just Jackass fans. Hmm. Pe pe people who are fans of Jackass that were coming to see it. Oh, I bet they were coming to yeah. see it. <laughs> yeah, everyone was coming. <laughs> I wasn't. That's gross. What are you, some kind of a fucking sexual <laughs> deviant? Any C O M I N G, not C U M. <laughs> ah, there you go. Now you get it. <laughs> the um. Did you recognize any of the kid actors, younger That's actors? the thing, is that everyone besides Knoxville and Pontius and, like, what about the, the bad daughter? guy... Did you recognize the daughter? Never. Never. I'd have never she seen her. She looks kind of familiar to me, but I can't place it. Yeah. I've seen her in any She might have... I don't know if she was in Stranger Things for an episode or something. I don't know. I don't but, think so, uh, but maybe. Yeah, who knows, you know. The, um... The 80s dick characters, they... It didn't... It only happens twice where they really have a prevalent scene, a big thing going on, and it um, doesn't get annoying. That's the thing about this movie. They um, No, they use that guy very sparingly. Not only that, virtually everything. They don't go into the well of each thing too many times for yeah. it to get annoying or to get played out. It just sort of 
you see it a couple times and then we're done with yeah. it. Maybe something pops up later on, but way later on, you know what yeah. I mean? It's a well, yeah. uh, really uh, And it's actually movie. pretty well shot. Like, it looked good. It looked like, it didn't look like a, um, like a fake uh, period Lockers. movie. Yeah, it didn't look like a TV episode. Mm -hmm. It actually looked like, oh, hey, you know, they're back in the 80s. and We're making a uh, movie. Yeah, and I and I do love when they're trying to do the local commercial. And they're Guys. just screaming in front of the mayor. Yeah. <laughs> saying, action point's got to be taken away. They're giving away beer for that gives free. Me, that gives me my greatest, <laughs> my greatest scheme of all. Ripping them off since they ripped off my arrow pointing to boobs technique. Mm, yeah. My time, my time is old method. Yeah. If you really care about Rudy Land, go to the nearest news reporter, the nearest press conference, and demand that Rudy Land be banned <laughs> because it's far too, I don't know, violent, well, sexual. Yeah, that old, uh, good old reverse psychology you got him. You just, they just got to hear about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then when they think negative, they double hear about it. Yeah. Not just hear it. Oh, I hate that now, but I gotta know what the big deal is. So is there uh, is there anything you can think of before final ratings or? I'm really um I'm really exhausting. Yeah. My brain here because I um I'm really tired and like I said with yeah. comedies you, I can't really. Because it just uh, hurls it at you a yeah, lot. It's a it's lot. It's rapid of that. fire. You can't. Yeah. I gotta see it a couple more times probably. Yeah. Could that be fireworks? Yeah, it's fireworks. I think. Might be. Um. But anyway. So, so uh, I'd probably um. I'd probably go with a six on this one. That's exactly, yeah, exactly what I'm gonna go with it, Tom. Yeah, it's it's just really fun. Um, yeah, it's it's not it's yeah. a throwaway movie, but in the I mean that in the best sense. Yeah, you know what I mean. This is this is one that, like I said at the beginning, I think this movie's gonna become a cult classic. Yeah, I don't expect just because it's at at the very least. It's funny. Yeah, it's actually funny. And it's a comedy, and it's funny. And yes, it accomplishes it, even that. It's a lot of people hitting themselves in the groin and, and getting hit in getting the groin, hit mostly. in the groin, flying through the air, falling off trees. Weird guys <laughs> holding <laughs> snakes. Yes, which is funny, and um, you know, it's just a really good time. So you know, uh, um, if you're not a prude with a stick up your ass, you know, you'll have fun with it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If like you don't go in wanting to hate it because it's going to be gross. You think right. something lewd or gross is going to happen. And it really wasn't that gross out to me. You there saw some few, bare asses. Right, yeah. I mean... You, saw, you definitely saw Chris Pontius's, you know, dick in the Speedo. Yeah. <laughs> there, was, there was some... Well, close you saw ups. the outline of it. Yeah, you could tell he's got like a boner going on. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> he's like, a time His for my morning was, dip. was pretty hot, too. She was. There was a few women that are hot that yeah. I won't mention. <laughs> You won't mention? Yeah, I won't mention. I don't know how old they were. Good call. <laughs> don't make the same mistake that I almost did with that Indian chick from yeah. Blockers. The old arrow technique. We come yeah, right so back we'll to Yeah, so we'll just it. say that Chris Pontius' girlfriend's hot. She's the only one I won't mention. Yeah. At the very least, get this from Redbox or stream it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. You, Definitely like, worth a rental. Funny, actually, yeah. comedies that are funny. Yeah. And that's, to me, I don't know, that's, it's, it seems a little absurd to me, but isn't that the most important thing about a, com a comedy <laughs> yeah, movie? It being it's funny. supposed to be funny. Yeah, I was worried that maybe it would just be kind of like a chuckler, where I'm just kind of just smirking, but no, this is actually funny. What'd you it's think going laughs. in it was going to be? Like uh, I a thought, sort of just jackass? I, I thought it was literally just going to be Johnny Knoxville just falling down and it was going to be fucking terrible. Mm. Even though I loved Bad Grandpa. I fucking loved Bad Grandpa. Loved it. Loved it. Fucking loved it, man. <laughs> I loved it. Um, we can but, both uh, do voices, Hollywood. <laughs> but, um, yeah, this 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 was a joy. Especially after the last movie we saw. It's a fun, a nice was little not fun. fun movie. Just like Actually A Quiet enjoyable. Place for me. A nice little horror movie. This is a nice little fun movie. Nice yeah. little fun comedy. Yeah. Definite recommendation. Any, um... Any uh, Johnny Knoxville recommendations? Yeah, it's too <laughs> focused. I only have one yeah. of those that I can recall seeing in the its ringer. entirety. <laughs> I didn't see that. Was oh, you haven't good? seen The Ringer? The Ringer's fucking great. Okay. Uh, I would definitely, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give a Johnny Knoxville recommendation. Um, definitely see The Ringer. It's his, like, first and only really 
besides the Jackass movies, his lead, you know, comedy, where he's just this scumbag piece of shit okay. who decides to just Join the go with the Special Olympics, Olympics yeah. uh, for, for money and to rig it. <laughs> it's just absolutely fucking great. Intriguing. Yeah, it's it's. I saw it at a budget theater with my dad, and it's hilarious. And a movie that would never get made now because of the PC crowd. Well, the thing about it is, though, he, like, the, um, special, the mentally special handicapped Olympics. people, who actors who were in it, they were all on board. Like, I'm oh, pretty sure was, the, one of the yeah. guys is, like, friends with the jackass Oh, yeah, there was, there, they hired actual people who had Down syndrome and stuff. Yeah. And, yeah, there was definitely some actors. Which, what is, go, what would, what is more ethical? Hiring people with the act, hiring people who actually have a mental handicap or getting somebody to pretend they have a mental handicap? Um, it's definitely, to me, uh, important to hire. Like, if there's mentally handicapped actors, you know, hire yeah. them. Give them a job. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah. You know? To me, if it was just actors all pretending to be retarded, then it's, you know, it's it's a little shittier. Mm. But when they're willing there, they're in on the joke, they know it's not mean-spirited. Is it mean-spirited? Are there no. any sort of like, it's <laughs> he's retarded jokes? There are that, but it comes to the defense of that. And okay. it's, there is sentimental moments about that, but it's not it's not poking at f fun at people who are retarded. It's a comedy that <laughs> that the main plot is about people in the Special Olympics. Yeah, but so obviously they're going to be involved. Yeah, to me it's not mean-spirited, okay. and I think it's really enjoyable. I actually don't think it's on Blu-ray, which kind of sucks, but... Um, Seriously? Yeah. It, did, it probably didn't do that well, huh? No, it's I don't a think small, it did. It yeah. was a small independent movie, probably. That's right? another one that's like a cult classic, which I think is a lot of fun. Is it on anywhere? I don't think so. I don't Probably think it's not. streaming. But definitely, if, if you can, you know, pick it up for 50 cents at a pawn shop, get that one. <laughs> you know. They had I'm crank. sure it's like probably three bucks on Do Amazon. Do you have Crank anyway. and Crank 2 on Blu-ray? No, I don't have Crank 2 on Blu-ray. They like had crank it two. at the Rite Aid in here for $10. Each? Both. Oh, both for Combo 10 bucks? Pack. Yeah, that's not bad. That's a decent price. Crank 1's really good. I thought about it if it was 6 or 7 I haven't seen either, so I can't spend ten bucks. I can't spend ten bucks. Um, the only uh, Johnny Knoxville movie I can think of right now is that I've seen for sure is Walk Hard. Walking Tall. Walking Tall. I do love Walk Hard, though. That's a side recommendation. If you haven't <laughs> oh, seen God, that. You've already brought that one up. John C. Riley, excellent. Um, <laughs> me and the blues. Just imagine seeing a little bit, a little boy, and that comes. He starts playing a guitar. Jesus. Me and the blues. Oh, we're off the rails. All right, uh, Walking Tall, The Rock is a, you know, standard, The Rock is standard rock. He's a fucking yeah. army marine, whatever. He uh, comes back home. There's this weird backwoods Dixie Mafia thing going on. It's yeah. led by the blonde-haired guy who was in Captain America with yeah, that Neil weird McDonough mustache. His name is. He's in all those TV shows. He has the perfect arch villain face. Yeah. Um, the Rock's coming home from war. And, and uh, John Knox was just a side character in it. He's just kind of, you know, the guy in the lawn drinking the beer. As I remember, he's probably the best part, but I haven't he's seen him in so relief. long. Yeah. I really, it's been a real long time. It's, um, I don't remember it being too bad. I just remember it being really it's sort kind of, of whatever generic. You know yeah. what I mean? Sort of like, what, what did we see last two days ago? Upgrade. Upgrade. Super generic. Yeah. Minus a few obvious exceptions. Yeah. Um.